Hi everyone, welcome back to our Not So Berry series. While we are starting off this episode with a very unexpected thing, Akira just died. Sienna's father, who she never even really managed to talk to that much, has just passed away. I am so dead curious, no pun intended, how did he die? Death by anger. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. He was always in a bad mood and that's basically where Sienna got her hot-headed trait from. Wow, that's crazy. Wow, I, I can't believe this. I thought that Sienna would maybe have a moment to actually bond with her father or something, but no. And that seems to be Jay's birthday present. Your dad's dead. Happy birthday. Okay, well. Anyway, I know that it's been a second since we played this series last. I just haven't had a chance to catch up with it, but here we are now with Akira dying, so off to a really strong start. Oh, Jay's gonna be sad for six days. I thought that Sienna maybe liked Akira a little bit more and that Jay wouldn't care as much. Let me actually check the relationship. Yeah, they basically had no relationship, so it's kind of interesting that he's going to be sad for six days. And our Sienna here is going to be sad for, I think, also six days. Yeah, six days. But let me just check the relationship. Yeah, they had a tiny bit of green, so it wasn't really that great either. And immediately Jay is going through a distant phase. He's not really having the best time on his birthday. But all right, let me just have you get ready for your final day of high school, which starts in two hours so you are all ready for that you haven't started your homework so that is pretty great you're gonna be ending high school oh maybe on an a actually so that'll be pretty great but let's just see how everyone else is doing astra you're gonna grab yourself some food oh you really need to like do everything sienna you want to have a lot of time to get ready maybe take the bathroom before aurora has a chance to so let me just have you clean yourself up get ready for school you will need a second to process everything she does want to do something romantic so she still has romance on her mind i'm wondering if she is thinking about her new celebrity fling that just kind of came out of nowhere but she did flirt with izzy fabulous he is a celebrity acquaintance and they are lovebirds she's just impressed with him so she is not necessarily that into him romantically it's more of a just wow i did things with a celebrity i think they just kissed right but still that that's pretty huge he is quite a bit older than her so i'm a bit creeped out i'm not really gonna pursue this so so let's just say that she doesn't have any access to him. She's not going to be inviting him to dates or anything. But if he reaches out, then maybe we'll do something. But that was mostly just like a one-off thing, just to kind of boost her fame, of, if nothing else. But I am kind of wondering, what is Daniel going to think? Because there is no way he would not find out. He is all about celebrities. He's obsessed with all of them. He keeps track on everything that's going on in celeb world. So he will definitely find out about this. Izzy is a relatively low rank celebrity so maybe he wouldn't find out immediately but I have a feeling that he will figure it out relatively soon but anyway Mentina how are you feeling you are also sad for 12 hours because of Akira well oh my gosh I just realized that both people that Mentina ever had any romance with have died I think that Mentina might be somehow cursed when it comes to that so yeah maybe maybe it's good that Mentina never really had a chance to actually have romance with people oh and you're gonna be glued me now as soon as I'm saying that. I'm so sorry, but I guess it does make sense. Mentina does seem to be a little bit cursed because whoever she finds interesting for a bit, they just seem to be dropping dead a bit too soon. So everyone is off to school. Aurora is still attending her online lectures. She's just not really quite ready to actually transfer to a real school. I don't think that she will at this point. It's maybe a little bit too late. And when do you work? You work in two hours and you're really close to a promotion and then she's going to be on level nine. Oh, this this is actually a little bit concerning because we have Sienna's birthday on Sunday and I really need Mentina to max her career before Sienna moves. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Mentina. I did mess up when it comes to your goals. I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. We'll figure this out. I guess that Sienna is going to be staying a little bit longer than I expected. So let's send Mentina to work alone and tomorrow is a love day. That's going to be pretty huge for Sienna, I think. And now we can actually focus on Aurora a little bit. Bit. Where were you last with Manu? Are you officially dating him now? You are, he is your boyfriend. Well, that is really, really nice to know. And when do you age up? I think in a while. So next Friday is actually Aurora's birthday. You definitely have a lot of time left. So maybe she could actually transfer to a normal school because maybe she is kind of ready. Maybe I can try to do that last week just so she kind of has some teen experiences before aging up. Oh, you call your new relationship love? More 
like a rebound, but that's just me. Good luck. Curtis is really salty that Sienna dumped him. Wait, Sienna wants to invite Alyssa over. That is really interesting. That is really interesting. Of course, I'm gonna say yes. Oh, I got confused. Astra wants to invite Daniel over, but that's his Daniel. That's his friend. Yeah, that's completely fine as well. But Sienna's Daniel is also coming over. Oh no. Well, I mean, it's it's fine. It's fine because Alyssa and Sienna are not dating or anything. They're basically friends with benefits. So it should be okay if they run into each other because it's not like Daniel would suspect anything. Alyssa is literally is just a friend. So I don't think that it's going to be an issue at all. So having Alyssa around is not a big deal. I don't thing that it should be. So let's just chat all casually together so it's all just normal. But even though this setup is kind of fine, I still feel a little bit weird. Alyssa is embarrassed and so is Daniel actually. So some weirdness definitely went on and she is kind of distancing herself from these two. Daniel's looking a little bit miserable. I think that everyone's kind of saying, okay, this situation is a little bit weird so maybe we shouldn't hang out as just like buddies because I'm pretty sure that Daniel has like a feeling that something is going on between these two and even though these two are basically just woohoo partners it's still a little bit weird because i feel like they actually feel a lot more for each other than they are kind of saying it's just kind of a little weird everyone's looking miserable everyone's kind of unhappy with the conversation i need to send one of them home but i don't know who because daniel came over by himself and they should be dating she hasn't actually asked him to be her boyfriend which she does need to do but she invited Alyssa over she actually wanted to spend time with Alyssa today and i I probably should not be focusing on that that much today because it is Jay's birthday. I can't forget about that. So maybe I should send both of them home just to make things a little bit easier for her because we also need to prepare for Jay's birthday. Oh, and Camille came over for Jay's birthday. That cannot be a coincidence. What's what's happening? Why did it get dragged to Mentina? Oh, you did get a promotion. That is really great. Mentina, finally. But since it is kind of getting late, let's just start making a cake for Jay's birthday because we can't forget about that. And Jay actually is catching up with Camille outside. Oh, but she's yelling at him. I thought that maybe they were trying to patch things up because they're both a little bit older now. But no, it's definitely not going well. It's an unpleasant conversation and they're both in a terrible mood. Camille, did you come over to just like bully him for his birthday? Why did you come here? This is weird. She just came over to make Jay's birthday even worse. Look at that. He's literally crying and she's just making fun of him. <gasps> that is crazy. It's an offensive conversation. Jay, you need to stand up for yourself and tell her to, at the very least, go away. He wants to kiss her though. I don't think that he's over her. He kind of is though. He hates her. Let's no, that let's not even send her home politely. Just tell her just go away. My birthday is like now. The cake is here. You need to leave because I want peace for all of that. So add some birthday candles. You know what, Mentina? Maybe try to make Jay feel a little bit better because this is just pathetic. He can't age up feeling like this. So try to make him feel a little bit better because this is just really bad. Can you like talk him through a mood swing? That is really nice. He is still mortified but they did move to the birthday area so I feel like he could be kind of ready. Sienna is asleep but I don't think that she cares that much sadly but Jay is blowing out his candles and everyone just left but he is aging up so let's well I was gonna say let's round them as a trait but no let's give him a trait. He is going to be an animal enthusiast. I think that he isn't necessarily a dog or a cat person. I think that he just loves all animals. Let's Let's give him animal enthusiast traits. So, Jay aged up. He is a young adult already. Let's all just have some cake together. Aurora's being rude and taking the cake first, so that's great. Oh, Sienna, you are waking up to grab some cake, but you couldn't be bothered to actually be there for his birthday, so that is really nice. I know that you have a lot on your mind, but that is extremely, extremely rude. Although, it's kind of interesting that she's suddenly very energized. I don't think that she really wants to show that she's not feeling her best and that she's feeling kind of weak in front of of everyone else. So she's kind of trying to push through her emotions, which is not necessarily very healthy, but it is kind of how Sienna is. Can you maybe apologize to Jay? They seem to be kind of talking. She does want to just shout forbidden words and act tough and everything. No, no, no. Let's try to do something nicer. Can you maybe have a deep conversation? Console him about the death. Both of your father has died, so console him about the death. And look at this. All of the siblings are actually talking here together. Well, as soon as I say that, Aurora is just going, but it was nice for like two seconds when it was happening. And Mandina is very happy to see that. So I'm kind of glad that things are relatively nice and normal in this household.
cold for once. But it is getting kind of late. Let's just clean this up, wrap up this birthday. Everyone does need to get ready for school and whatnot. And it's officially almost Sienna's birthday. It is in two days, but today we have a love day. So I hope that it's not going to be awful and turbulent and that she will be spending with Daniel peacefully unless he found out about Izzy. So we'll see what today brings us. But speaking of today, Jay, let me have you wake up real quick and since you are a young adult now let's actually find you a job that you will hopefully love more than high school and whatever drama and misery you went through so let's find you a career and he would most definitely be a vet so let's start off your rescue career assistant job which you will be going to in four days what that is a while jay since you don't have that much going on i'm gonna have you make breakfast and please don't start a fire things are going kind of okay so far but please don't start a fire how far along is your cooking skill because i don't think that he really cooked that much and when he did he was starting fires i'm pretty sure so let me just creep on that real quick oh let's send everyone to school but let me see your cooking it's on level six you should be good sienna went to school already and aurora is still attending her lectures i think that today is going to be her last day of actual online school and then from monday i'm going to send her to a regular school so grab yourself some breakfast before you have to go to your computer to attend your lectures oh no i've noticed that aurora is going through mood swing time to wear black she's gonna be sad for a while i think that she's maybe a little bit nervous about going to a real school on monday so she really is cherishing her last day of online school but i think i do need to push her to get to that step because it will be good for her future oh this is strange sienna wants to invite Aaron over for a love day of all days we've never really had a chance to speak to Aaron that much she is really attracted to him though but they're not really close at all and she is hooking up with his sister as well so it's like weird territory i'm gonna say yes just because i'm so curious so here is Aaron at our door out of nowhere it's so strange that she actually oh wait what are you doing what are you doing okay just flattering him that is not romantic wow that was a little scary i don't know what to do with Aaron because they never really hung out that much as far as i remember so let me just check yeah they have like nothing they're just acquaintances she does find him extremely attractive though how how does she feel about Alyssa real quick? She just finds her very attractive. So they have amazing compatibility, they're best friends and everything. Technically lovers, but not really. <gasps> she has a major crush on Aaron. Oh my gosh, Sienna. Aurora. Oh wait, I was gonna say, just leave me alone, but no, this is kind of important. Aurora says, school is stupid. And since there are not really many options, I'm assuming that she's asking Jay, who just graduated. School is stupid. I should just be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? She really wants to avoid monday going to normal school but i think that that step would really be good for her so no school teaches important things and you'll be okay you just kind of need to get used to being around people but anyway sienna has a crush on Aaron now so that is something and they're hanging out on love day should i do something about that she does need to meet her boyfriend though as well but let's just try to maybe do a pickup line or something so oh no jay get out of the way jay jay get out of the way i know you kind of want to uh, like check on your little sister and everything but no please don't interrupt this flirting it's gonna get super awkward because these two are kind of starting to flirt a little bit and it seems to be going kind of okay he's super ah oh, they have a romance bar and everything he's very flirty instantly i don't really want her to start something else with someone immediately but they seem to be really into each other but it's kind of getting late i do want her to go on a date with daniel first but she seems to be having a really good love day with Aaron, weirdly enough. It's a suggestive conversation, but I think that we should send him home before things get a little bit too much. Even though you're super into each other, let's just keep this casual. So you should be going, and I should be going on a date with Daniel, even though I have both of these siblings as an option. But no, we need to see Daniel today. So I'm going to send them to a date in Del Sol Valley in this lounge here that I think they were at last time, but this could be their regular meeting spot because it is an up and coming hotspots and both of them kind of have a thing for fame in kind of different areas but still I think it'll be really good for them to hang out here where all the other potential people that could be famous go. So they're both kind of looking a little bit miserable but we are on a date here so definitely say hello to him and hopefully things will be kind of okay. Hopefully oh hopefully is oh wait it's going kind of wrong. Well that is a little bit awkward. 
he is embarrassed now. I think that maybe he found out about Izzy, not gonna lie. Because why else would things be going so wrong? Before things go even worse, I do need to ask him to be her boyfriend because they do need to date for her aspiration. <gasps> And Aaron is running after her. Wait, wait. And he's like running after her to ask her to go to prom as friends, to be fair. But this is crazy. He's crashing their date literally as soon as she like opened her mouth to ask Daniel to be her boyfriend. And Aaron comes running after her to ask to go to prom. I think that Aaron really wants to interrupt this. I think that he's really, really into her. I don't know what to do because I don't want to say no way because I really like Aaron. But if I say, of course, in front of her future boyfriend, it's weird because he should be the one taking her to prom. And this is the prom that she would be going to. This is like the last prom before she ages up. So she can't miss it. I think I might have to say no and they will get a bad sentiment, but we can work through it eventually. And I'm really sorry. He's so upset. And these two just started dating. He's just so sad. These two started dating and he's just creeping from the side look at him so miserable i'm so sorry erin i never expected this i'm so sorry are they texting each other is she texting him to say sorry already he just won't leave he's looking like do you not like me because i'm short i'm a short king so you don't want to have any like love for me no erin it's not like that i'm so sorry you're gonna have to go though because you're crashing the dates well erin left by himself so that's pretty great but before i forget i don't want to be in some kind of situation where i forget about the photo again so let's have them take a photo together immediately now that they started dating are you seriously taking the photo with the bartender in the background that is just stupid i'm sorry but that is just ridiculous there we go that's a little bit nicer so another one for her wall it's a lot more full and a lot more busy here than, than the last time i think so oh look who was just leaving izzy was actually here i completely missed him well i guess it's lucky that he's leaving Leaving, so Daniel won't really notice anything at least for now. So we're kind of good on that so They definitely found themselves some kind of private spot in this lounge that I think that they will be using quite a bit They will just be making out in this closet It's uh, maybe a little bit too soon to woohoo But they found themselves a spot that probably would work for them pretty well So I'm just gonna leave them to it. They can just have fun in there It's a gold date anyway, so they kind of did everything they had to and you know what worryingly this date did not even fill up her fun like at all is it some kind of failure like what is going on with all of that and now she's texting someone is erin on her mind but for next time i think that we will be doing prom and cena's birthday hopefully mentina's last promotion so she will be moving out of the house off to the city to start her politician career but if you want to see how all that goes and who she goes for in the end is she gonna continue with daniel is she maybe gonna start something with Aaron. I don't know, but you will be finding out if you click right here for the next episode. And if the next episode is not out yet, here is something to watch while you wait. See you there!